Welcome if this is your first time here. Today we are reviewing Industry Season 3 Episode 7 and man was this a great episode. I feel like they really captured a moment and the emotions of what's going on very well with this show. If this is your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content and click that like button. We do mostly film on the channel but then I sprinkle in sports and music too. Now, we have to start with Eric and Bill. This was the saddest situation I think I have ever seen on industry because Eric really was a scumbag when it comes to how he treated Bill. And Bill trusted Eric so much. He brought him in to have him sit at the table. Eric would not even had a seat on the table. And it makes me feel sorry for Harper because the truth is Harper would probably be a totally different individual if Eric wasn't her mentor when she first came to Pierpoint. Literally, she would be totally different. It's him. He is literally the worst person on the show when it comes to character. And I can tell that the entire time he was thinking in his mind, how am I going to be disloyal to Bill? How am I going to use this situation while everyone is panicking? Everybody want to get something done. Eric is thinking in his mind, how can I use this to my advantage to come up in the company? And when that final meeting started happening and Mitsubishi came in, I can tell that Eric was going to snake him in the back just by watching where he was seated on the table. And when they walked in and he brought up something that I know he seen because Bill told him, check the numbers. And he brings it up nonchalant in a meeting with the people that's trying to invest in the company. So Bill made a big deal of it. Like, oh, whoa, why are you bringing this up now? Like, why say something while they at the table? Why didn't you say something before? And then they tell Eric, walk him to the elevator. This was the worst part. <laughs> it was really bad. And it was sad because you can see on Bill's face, he never thought it would be Eric. He didn't even recognize Eric had snaked him the entire time they walk into the elevator. The way he's speaking to Eric, I can tell it didn't even cross his mind yet that Eric is the one that snaked him. It wasn't until he was just about to get on the elevator. And that's when he turned around and seen Eric's face and he knew it. Oh, man. They wrote that scene perfect. The actors did a great job, but the character Eric is a character that I hate. And hate's a strong word. <laughs> I hate this character. He is a snake. And hopefully one day he gets what's coming to him. And I'm actually rooting for Harper to take him down now. At first I was like, yo, Harper tripping and she shouldn't be going that hard. But no, everybody, Bill, Harper, Kenny, everybody need to just join forces to get Eric out of there. And he actually has a negative effect on everybody. Harper, you see how she's turning out. Rishi, we see how Rishi is. He wanted to take Sweet Pea. He wanted to take Ann Raj. But as soon as Harper say, hey, I ain't got room for three people. He like, all right, just me. I'm like, oh my God, these people have no character. Where's the honor? And I know what people thinking. It's the nature of the business. But if business will make you have no honor, it's not the business. It's you. That's your morals. And it looks like Rishi is going to actually get the short end of the stick because the company survived. Now, all of the things that was going on during this episode, while the company was in chaos, was great to me. How they showed people that was actually, you know, getting it in 
while people was around and everybody was partying. I said, oh, yeah, they really showing that the whole company is in chaos right now. How people are acting, some people drunk, some people high off different substances. So they really was painting that image. But to me, it was three people that got screwed over this episode. You had Bill. We know he got mistreated. And he got cancer. That's what really made it sad. But then Rishi got screwed over too because he was trying to screw over the company and things ain't go his way. And then Harper also got screwed over. She goes to Petra and tells Petra everything she knows. And Petra is literally making calls to people to let them know what she now knows. And then we see at the end, Otto's driver picks up Harper and takes her away. So Harper really took the short end of this whole thing too by trying to get Petra to make a move to buy into Purpoint currently while they're in the state that they in. But Petra got a little nervous. Hey, somebody might figure out that we overheard confidential information while we were taking a meeting. So she kind of pulled the plug on that and told Otto. And that messed up Harper's and Rishi's whole plan. And why we on Harper? Golly, do she got to sleep with everybody? Like, uh, sweetheart, what are you doing? At some point, you got to kind of chill out. I hope all these people is wearing condoms with her too, because just being honest, Harper then been through a lot of people. Be honest, I feel like she uses talking to new people or trying to um, be intimate with new people as a coping mechanism for whatever she's going through, which she got to stop that. Another person is similar to her is Yasmin. And this is where we get to Yasmin and Rob. I feel sorry for Bill. I feel sorry for Rob. I have never been in Rob's position with the woman. Now, I am proud of him that he didn't have any type of intimate relations with her while she was drunk and, you know, she had cut herself and all of that. I'm proud that he didn't do that because he shouldn't have. Right. You want her to be in a sober mind when y'all finally, you know, start getting it in. So I'm glad he didn't do that. But I have never been in his situation where you play the friendship role until you finally get in and she actually likes you. <laughs> like, no, that's a sucker role where you rub her back and. You know, anytime she's going through something, she depends on you. And, you know, typically when you have that type of relationship with a woman, it don't even go back and forth. It ain't like something where you always depend on her and she always depend on you. No, no. It's really she comes to you when she needs advice. She comes to you when she need some uh emotional person to be there to hear her thoughts or hold her you know it don't really go the opposite so it's basically you getting used until she see you in a light where she likes you i've never been in that situation ever but rob is definitely in that situation and it's like yo dude make your move not when she's you know drunk or anything but when she's sober just make your move. And the only thing she can say is no. And then you, all right, well, I got to find somebody else. That's just how it works. It's just a no. All right. And then you, you find somebody else. We used to have a saying. And the saying was, if you're not getting dissed by women, you're not trying to talk to them. Because, hey, a chick can have a boyfriend. A chick can just be busy at the moment. It happens. You get told no, but you got to keep shooting your shot. Rob is afraid to shoot his shot, you know, so he's just not doing that, but he's in love with her. Now, as far as that publishing company trying to place the blame on her, I definitely don't think she should take that deal. I did at the beginning, but once I believe his name is Maximum, 
once he called her and let her know, hey, I have some information for you that can help you out and that publishing company have their own secrets that they need to worry about. I can give you this information. Once I heard that, I said, oh, yeah, she cannot take that deal. She need to fight. You know, sometimes people can stack a lot up against you, but you got to come back and you got to fight unless you're willing to take a bad deal. And I think that's what the publishing company was offering her. So I'm glad she didn't take that deal. I do want to finally just see her and Rob be together. Hopefully, maybe that might happen before this season is out. Or we might be waiting another season for Rob to just make his move. He probably not going to make a move. She just need to be sober. And then she just need to make the move. You know, but that need to happen, man. But y'all let me know. What did you think about this episode? Because I thought it was phenomenal. And the writers on industry, the actors, the people that's producing it, the editing team, y'all all get a round of applause. This season has been phenomenal. And season two was phenomenal. And when you really think about it and you look back, season one was really phenomenal. So, you know, they just haven't been missing with this show. Y'all let me know what you think about it. As always, if this your first time here, Make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. And like always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.